We are about to hear the role of not-for-profit sector in a trauma therapy in Israel. We're at the Natal Israel Trauma Center, and we're about to hear from staff. And looks like everyone's ready to hear our speaker. Right now we are in, actually we're in the West Bank, we're in a Jewish settlement in the West Bank, but this is not a disputed settlement, this is actually one that was here and the Palestinians don't have a problem with. Um, it's a nice little suburb in the West Bank. Security guard securing their perimeter. Here we are at our next stop, about to do a clinic for Ethiopian immigrants, and we're doing a basketball clinic. Should be a good one. These guys are always receptive to basketball, and you know, one thing about basketball, it doesn't matter what race, what creed, what religion, you still got to do the same thing. Throw it into the basket. Nice gym. <laughs> Mr. Vincent, you're running this, right? I'm running the show. Good. On the can. I got the can. I got the clinic. You coming to New Orleans? Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Keep our same. Right. Always yearned of coming. They always kept their traditions. And for those 2,500 years, they always dreamt of returning to Jerusalem. They were farmers, they lived in villages, they lived an idyllic life, actually, often near rivers and on mountaintops. But when they came to Israel, they came to this fast-paced, modern technological society, which for many of the parents was very difficult to get used to. So as a result, because of those challenges, oftentimes underemployed or unemployed parents, and then often unable to give their children what they need to do well in Israel. So that's where the organization that I work with called the Ethiopian National Project, which you'll hear more about later. Right now the kids are here, we're all excited, and we want to play. But so you know, the bottom line is that we're making sure that Ethiopian Jews are fully integrated into Israeli society to make sure that they can totally succeed, they can get a good education, they can be the doctors and the lawyers and the engineers and everything they dream of being by getting everything they need scholastically, role models.